We're going to make a styrofoam print. To do this, we need a piece of styrofoam. This is from the dollar store. Cut it down to a small little square or rectangular, rectangular shape. We need a piece of paper. I'm going to use a sticky note because I like how it sticks on there and I don't have to use any tape to hold it in place. Um, after that, you can either use a brayer uh, with um, uh, printmaking ink or you can use some paint with a brush. I like the foam brush. I feel like it's a little bit more even. So let's make a tree. Um, also on there I have a pencil and a barbecue skewer, bamboo skewer. It works out really well to help draw the lines. So let's draw our picture. We'll make a tree. Something simple. Uh, this piece of foam has a layer of paper on both sides. We'll just take off one side. That way it'll make it easier to carve into the foam. Use my pencil to make the lines. I want to transfer the lines into the foam. Not really trying to cut into it, but just transfer them. Doo, doo, doo. That's good. I don't know if you can see it, but we got the lines transferred. Then we'll use something else. Could be a crayon, pencil, pen, or like me, a barbecue skewer. And we just want to dig the lines into the foam. The deeper you go, the more likely you are not going to have some type of mistake that's in there. I usually go through because I like a nice thick line. And because I like it clean on the end, I'll do it on both sides. So that's one side, flip it over to the other side. That way we got a nice clean line. But if you do want it to trail off, you don't have to do this. I just like hard edges on the end. Good. Now what you need to do is trim it down a little bit because there's way too much extra foam on this. Now wherever you have those lines, that area is going to be the same color as your paper. So you can cut it down to the exact shape you want. That way your outer line looks like what you're trying to go for. Since I'm doing a tree, you can see I'm doing a tree type edge. There I have my tree. All I have to do is ink it. So I have two that I'm going to do. One is the White House, one is the tree. I'm going to, this time, I'll paint this and I will roll that with the brayer. So get some nice quick paint on it. You want a nice even cover. ourselves our paper get that ready first thing I'm gonna do is push this one down now some people say you should turn this over to help it we'll give it a shot I usually don't but you can get the paper pushed in a little better a 
voila. But we have our trees. Let's get a little black tree. Looking good. Put one there. One tree, and I should have enough ink to do the second tree still on there, so let's do it. Be careful, I have ink on my hands and I just got some on the paper. That's the hardest part about printmaking, not transferring ink where you don't want it. Good. And that is my White House and two trees.